Hold up, what's up everyone? It's B Avery here again with another trailer reaction. This one is for Thor Ragnarok, the teaser trailer. This movie drops later this year, November 3rd, I believe. I was on my way out the door this morning, looked on YouTube, and I saw that it was uploaded. And I was like, oh, I want to watch it right now. But I did not have time to record it because I had to go to work. But I just got home, put up my Thor and Hulk background because Hulk is going to be in this movie. And I just can't wait. Let's see what this trailer is about. Let's get it. Now I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? Yep. <laughs> well, oh, it's a long story. Who's that? Hello? Who's that? Damn! That's As Man. God is dead. Lady Sid? Not Lady Sid. Hi there. What have you brought today? Tell me. A contender. It's main event time. Yes, yes. Okay. First thoughts is this like Thor said in the trailer, like, I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? Yes, because at the end of Age of Ultron, he was trying to figure out what was going on with the Infinity Stones. When I saw I talked to Captain America and Tony Stark and Iron Man and uh, put it more near up in the air and flew off into the other dimension going back home because he was going to try to find out what was going on with the Affinity Stones, who the real threat is, because he felt like he was being played like a pawn. And hopefully this movie is going to pick up right after that and kind of also parallel with what was going on in Captain America Civil War because he wasn't there. So um, a lot of questions. Now, the person at, at, at the beginning of this with, with all the spikes in her hair and whatnot, that was Hella played by Kate Blanchett. She's like the ruler of the underground hell world, kind of... Uh, within the nine realms or, or whatever. She's extremely, extremely powerful. Odin banned her to that corridor like many, many millennia ago, centuries ago, thousands of years ago. So it looks like she's gained some power and she's coming back to wreck shop. That other lady, uh, I said it was Lady Sith, but that's not Lady Sith. I forgot. The Enchantress. That may be Enchantress or whatever. And she is a seductive uh, little... Um, I was going to say a bad word, but I don't want to say that word and be uh, offending anyone. But she is just no good. She goes around. If that is who I'm trying, I, I, I don't want to look online. I don't even know if the Enchantress was cast in this movie. Let's see what we got here. Uh, okay. I don't know where the, the thing is or whatever. But man, I'm all. What happened to the, to the thing? Okay. I don't know if that, I don't know if that, and I'm, I'm looking on IMDb right now and I don't see Enchant Enchantress, um, but I don't know who that woman is from the beginning. Now, of course, we did see shots of Loki, Tom Hiddleston. He looked freaking fantastic. I cannot wait to see what side of the coin he's going to play, whether it's going to be the good side, the bad side, or both. 
Uh, I'm pr I'm going to put my money on both because he's just that type of shady character that flips back and forth like a fish out of a water. I think we also got some, uh, that was a nice shot of uh, Idris Elba. Uh, God, why am I missing uh, of, of him, dog, or whatever with his sword? That looked pretty cool. All the effects look great. Uh, I can't wait to see Jeff Goldblum as the Grand Master. He's extremely powerful, too. And what's weird is, like, this movie is uh, loosely based off the uh, Planet Hulk storyline. Um, this was an animated feature three movie collection that I got a number of years ago, that which is the animated movie for Doctor Strange, Iron Man, and Planet Hulk. And if you haven't seen the Planet Hulk uh, animation, I strongly suggest you try. You don't have to get a copy, but if you can download it or find it anywhere online, um, I strongly suggest you do that because it's just a great representation of showing how strong the Hulk is. And in that movie, um, so Hulk, you know, great thing about him is he's so powerful. He, he There's no limit to his strength. The anger he gets, the strong he gets. We all know that. But it's the the you know the setback is that he doesn't have any control over it. So in the Planet Hulk comic book and, and the animated movie, he causes too much destruction. And so the Illuminati, which is the leaders of all the superhero groups, so like Professor Xavier from the X-Men, uh, Black Panther from Wakanda, uh, Mr. Fantastic from Fantastic Four, Iron Man from uh, the Avengers, all... That's the Illuminati. They come together with a plan like, okay, look, Hulk is just too powerful. He, he destroys everything he comes in contact with. We need to send him off to a, a nice little planet off somewhere to where it's just green grass and he can just beat up mountains. He wants to be left alone, but, you know, let's just do that. You know, everybody wins. Well, they knocked him out, sedated him somehow, put him on the ship, launched him off, but he woke up in the middle of the trip and broke free and did something with the controls to where it changed the, tra the tra trajectory of the ship and sent him off into another dimension and so where he landed on the planet of Sakaar and had to live his life under the reign of the Red King. And the Red King is pretty powerful as well. And in this land of the Red King, they have all these gladiator matches to where they have the strongest fighter versus the strongest fighter. And that's what uh, the Planet Hulk movie is based off of. And that's what uh, Thor Ragnarok is uh, loosely based off of as well. So a lot of people, when they found out the Hulk was going to be in the movie, that's what they got excited about. And uh, it's just a great animated movie. Also, Thor Ragnarok, the Ragnarok kind of means like the end of times or the end of days, a bunch of destruction. So you take Thor Ragnarok and combine that with the Planet Hulk story and put that together, you're going to have a nice badass form of entertainment coming out November 3rd, later this year in 2017. And the cast just looks fantastic. I mean, Loki, we got, uh, no, Tom Hiddleston. Uh, well, I'm going to say the characters Loki, Doctor Strange, Hemdale, H Hela, Thor, uh, Lady Sif, Scourge. Scourge is, uh, I think, one of the guys with the axe. He goes around and he's he hooks up with the Enchantress a lot. She kind of tells him what to do. Of course, Odin, Bruce Banner, Valkyrie, Volstagg, they've been in there before. And I can't wait to see the, Grand, the Grandmaster played by Jeff Goldblum. That's like my third time. Uh, saying that in this trailer now this is just a teaser trailer uh the only thing i, I it looked great that 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 uh those that those effects and just the picture quality just looks fantastic this is directed by uh taika watiti um he did some smaller films that came out a couple of years ago which i did not see but every other critic is always raving about those so i do want to go see those before this movie because they always just kind of say that you know based off those movies He's just able to, uh, you know, give good character development and a great story. And if you're able to bring that over to the Marvel and you wreck shot with some action, you know, I'm very excited. The only thing that I was not too impressed with in this trailer was when Jeff Goldblum was saying, hey, um, you know, fight time, a gladiator time. When they showed the arena, it looked kind of like a small scale. I kind of, I mean, this is a teaser. So, of course, I'm not going to show all the great, uh, you know, epic shots. But I was kind of hoping that we would have got like an aerial shot to see how big the arena was with all the um, with all the onlookers cheering and, you know, rants going on about how excited that was. But they kind of showed that first shot of the people, the Thor and uh, Hulk coming into the arena and the arena just kind of looked small. That was the only thing that kind of turned me off a little bit. But it is cool to see Thor without his uh, long blonde hair, his gold lock hair. It's so cool to see him with the war paint on his face. 
Uh, I love seeing Hulk with the um, with the the battle helmet on, with the axe and all that good stuff. I, 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 who the hell destroyed Mjolnir? Uh, Mjolnir. I mean, they're, they're pretty powerful. And I, I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see Hulk and Thor fight. I can't wait to them for them to make up and they fight together uh, and beat the Grand Master's ass or whoever's ass, Hella's ass. Uh, it just looks fantastic. I cannot wait that uh, that Asgardian army looked pretty cool when they was uh, squared up trying to take on whoever trying to kill you know their throne and their kingdom. It just looks like a great movie so far. This is just a teaser trailer. I'm surprised it was so long, like a minute and 45, minute and 50 seconds, but it looks fantastic and I can't wait. So what's today? April the 10th. We probably won't see anything else uh, pertaining to Thor until Comic-Con comes out later on this July. Um, yeah, in San Diego or wherever they're going to hold. They need to hold it in Las Vegas. But anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm assuming this trailer will be attached to Guardians of the Galaxy, which comes out the first week of May. Uh, it probably will be attached to Spider-Man too. And then the next time that we're going to see something from, uh, Thor Ragnarok, what makes sense is going to be Comic-Con this year. I, I, I'll probably, uh, bet my, well, I'm not, well, I'm not going to say that, but I, I, I would bet a lot of money on that. And then we're probably going to see the last, uh, trailer that, uh, probably reveals everything and spoils it. Um, I'm just joking. Probably two months before, um the movie comes out in september because october november yeah so guys I, I really did love this teaser what did you think about the thor ragnarok teaser oh and for the comic book geeks out there do you think that better ray bill is going to show up in this movie if he doesn't show up i i um i will be satisfied i don't necessarily think that he should show up until thor 4 if they have a thor uh, 4 movie and uh, Beta Ray Bill is basically like, um, I think another creature alien from the planet of carbon or carbonite or something like that. And um, they're being oppressed and he runs into Thor some way. I mean, there's different variations everywhere. He actually gets the, the exact same power as Thor. Uh, the only thing he doesn't have is he doesn't have more near the hammer. He has on like a, a half hammer slash axe and it's called Stormbreaker and it's golden, but he is like evenly matched with Thor and they end up teaming up and, you know, wrecking shop and beating the hell out of everybody. So I wonder if he's going to show up. If he shows up, that'll be great as long as they don't throw too many characters in there. If he doesn't show up, that's fine. Uh, either way, I'm going to be happy. So, like I said, I love this teaser trailer. So guys, what did you think of the new Thor Ragnarok teaser trailer? Did it get you more excited to see the movie this November or did it turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get everything that I have to provide. Also, go over to the website or look me up on social media. But guys, thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash reaction to the Thor Ragnarok teaser trailer. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brennan Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.